Hey, love again. What's going on? <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, baby, we've been gone. We need a new intro. We can't come back with the same thing. You're right, man. We've been gone. Now we're in New York. We need a. Let's. It's on song. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was gonna say, nah, like, man. a little bit more like. Like, proper. Proper. You know? What does that sound like? Hi, guys! <laughs> Okay, stop. Go. It's your boy, we're going to and I'm chilling here with my lovely wife, Stephanie. Yes. And together we are the Globos, and, and this is the Globos Uncut. Bam, 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 bam. Coming to you live from New York City. Guys, we have a special announcement to make. So, um... Mm -hmm. no? I'm announcing the announcement. Okay. The announcement is, guys, um, so we purchased a, an apartment in New York City, Battery Park. We move into New York! Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I didn't know about this announcement. <laughs> <laughs> it's the manifestation of the future. I receive, I receive, anyway. I receive. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We've been away for a minute. Mm -hmm. This is our life update, what's been going on, what's what. And um, yeah, we're currently in New York City, mm -hmm. um, in a beautiful apartment mm -hmm. in Battery Park. That's correct. Battery. Um, and minutes, yeah. it's got an yo, <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, <clears throat> quit playing with me. I it's hungry, in the love. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly speaking, like starting a new family, you know, having a baby, working, traveling. I think that's all been the. Things. I think that's been the biggest thing, um, having a baby, because yeah. like, I think we thought we had a handle on it and how we we're going to navigate it, yes. you know, and just like the day to day of having a new child within everything else we're trying to do, which is work and explore and yeah. grow it's has fun. been really, really challenging to find that balance. Yeah. So yeah. that is number one. That has definitely. And I think only like after a couple of months did we kind of sort of start finding a routine yeah. and a way of things. But prior to that, you were just, we're floating. Not even floating. Because floating <laughs> is like peaceful. What's the word? We were like... Staying afloat. Staying afloat. Trying to stay afloat, you yeah. know. Uh, trying not to drown in everything. So, um, yeah, we just had to sort of create priorities and see um, what was doable. What, mm. what do we have control over? And the things we can't control to just be able to kind of let it go and, mm. you know, not let it overwhelm us too much. And not to be hard on ourselves because yeah. I think like with the, with the way in which we tried to, you know, change from uploading every single Friday to yeah. like Fridays and Sundays, um, it was a thing of like releasing some of that pressure. And yeah. then even within that little bit of pressure release, there was still like... Yeah, but now it's been two weeks. <laughs> yeah, but now it's been three weeks. And it's like, yeah, but where's the time? Yeah. You know? So it's it's been a beautiful time because I think as much as we've always like, okay, babe, we need to release something, we've been very conscious about being present. Yes, exactly. At home, with our little one, with the two of us, yes. with our family. Um, and even being here in New York City right now was another one of those, you know, where we were able to be like, okay, as much as there's so much going on, yeah, this trip was planned X amount of months ago, etc. And even though it might feel like maybe we shouldn't be going right now, yeah, we let's still do it. it anyway. you know? So, yeah, New York's been amazing. Let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you a word of a lie. Ask me, yeah. I've been so emotional, um, so many days. Like, it's so weird because mm -hmm. I'm loving and having the best time, spending time with homes, being, you know, in this amazing, you know, city, country. 
but I am so homesick. No, it's oh, tough, man. My word. Like the other night we went out, I don't know, sometime in the morning, I was, I was just crying. I'm like, I, I want my child. So anyway, um, but other than that, it's been really, really great. Just one. I know there's been many. Oh, man. Just give us one. I mean, you know, watching Samuel L. Jackson live, mm -hmm. like he was right there, man. You know what I'm <laughs> uh, Watching The Lion King. Like, I lived here in 2015, yes. and I would walk down these theaters that have shows that are on Broadway, because there's shows that are called on Broadway and off Broadway. Um, and I would want so badly to go and watch a show on Broadway. That time I was living here and I couldn't even afford it. Yeah. So for me to have gone to two Broadway shows, yeah. like, I mean, I almost cried both times. Yeah, and I know? think just like on that quickly, the experience or like we were speaking about almost feels like coming full circle. Yeah, back. completely. Yes. For those completely. of you who don't know, like Ungani said, he stayed here for like six months. Was but so he was so broke. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stories is not funny, but no, honestly, really, funny. like really broke, and how it's been a different experience yeah. now, having by God's grace, like some you know means to go and watch Broadway, yeah. um, to you know eat at certain restaurants, experience certain things. Like mm. we went to this um, place called the Summit. Oh, Summit One. Summit oh, One, was which was gorgeous. Absolutely. If you're ever in New York, this is not even a paid program. Yeah. If you're ever in New York, York definitely go like, to the Summit One. Being able to, you know, even where we're living, you know, being able to have a different experience. But yeah. sometimes people look at that as like, oh, you know, um, and they only see the experience we're having now, wow. but they don't actually know that you had an experience that was way, way different. different in the city. You know, I and dreamed of the experience we're having right that now. That we're having right now. And I think for me, that's been the most beautiful thing to yeah. watch, you know, sort of to see you go, you know, all that work that you put in yeah. and stuff now having paid off in some way or another is a beautiful thing to watch. So that's been one of my favorite things um seeing you kind of mm. come back uh full circle. Get a cry on no. <laughs> no. and then also hungani and my cousin i don't know if you guys remember walter rick she was in our 200k celebration yes, video so mm. shadow in the shadow of your wings i know what i'm saying COVID like three years ago or something mm -hmm. and these two schemed so that she could come down and I got to see her and I haven't seen her in three years and oh my word that was a beautiful surprise and yeah. we got to spend the day the evening together um so that was also nice as well Not yeah it was so stressful so, it was so, so stressful because we're actually taking pictures and stuff that time I'm busy talking to Walter Rigo on my phone Steph is taking pictures surprise. I'm like I hope she's not seeing the messages <laughs> So yeah, man, we had there's a lot of things that yeah, I think my cousin have also been, came yes, through, came which through, was really which nice. Was nice as I haven't seen her in a minute. Family. Like yeah. it was just so beautiful. Um, got to shop. Ngani oh. and I, guys, can I please tell you something for nothing? <laughs> no, really, honestly speaking, we're not big shoppers. We're really yeah. not. Even back home, even huge sales. Yeah. Uh, we're not, I mean, I'm a sale person. Yeah, yeah, but we're but not like... Like, no... Yeah, but we, we're not and... like... Like, some people will be like online to know, okay, yeah. just hear the sales with everything, even groceries, like, we just suck at that. But besides that, we're also not huge on, like, name brands and, you know, like... Yeah. It's just... I don't know. Maybe, like, if something's nice and happens to be a brand or whatever, but we're yeah. just not that way inclined and we've never been. But when we were down here, we got to go to this place. Um, it's like an outlet, mm. out two hours. That's a premium, premium outlet. Premium outlet. What, what? What, what's, yo, guys, we have never, ever spent the whole day. Guys, ah, one thing about My feet. One thing about America. I said this on my Instagram. Mm. They know how to sell. Yeah, no, fully. No, no, fully. guys. It's not, not this even, thing of... It's not even Black Friday. 80% mm. off. No, like legit. Black, it's 80% off. So Ngani kept going into the shops and saying, if it's 80% off, what is the Black Friday Because, sale? no, like... really... I would ask because, like, 
maybe we can extend our stay until Black Friday. Because, because well, if wow. it's eighty percent now, then mm. most is going to be ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent off one percent. <laughs> So some of the shops literally would say um, maybe there'll be like an extra ten to fifteen percent yeah. more off, and you're just like, how 70%, does that make sense? It's going to be ninety percent off. So SA, no chance. We can't do South, 15% off. That time it's Black Friday, fifteen percent off. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so that's also been fun. Yeah. Something different to the way we, you know, do things. Yeah, no, but there's there's strange people here. Like I don't want to like as you get onto the train. And you see different. Things. No, 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 <laughs> different. no, no. Different is not. It's strange. Strange. You see things where you. Steph thought we were going to be bombed the one day. <laughs> this guy gets into the train and he squats. He squats by the entrance of the train. You know, most the doors go. He squats right by the entrance. He takes out something and he starts going. Hey, this <laughs> one. I'm like, we're about to be bombed, guys, and that's not even a joke. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just a strange. It's it's weird because you keep yeah. walking around. We've been walking around two, three in the morning, and there's a level of you don't feel like fear of getting robbed or anything yeah. like that. But at the same time, there's just like a different energy mm. and a different thing. I feel like spiritually, even like yeah. it's just a weird thing. Like I, I it's like I know, guys. I I I love visiting, and I would definitely visit again. Yeah. But I'll go deal with my Lord Shaden because I understand our people. <laughs> I understand our craziness. This Girl, craziness, I'm just like no, it's what? something else. I'm like, what's happening? Why? Why? What's, also, what's it's so on? unpredictable. Yeah, it's like middle of like like you just and like, here's another happening? example. Here's another example. This was before Steph arrived because I I came here for work actually, and then Steph was feeling some type of way, and then we made it a trip. I'm just gonna put that out there. So yeah, so now in the week when I was working, I'm on the train, and then there's this other black guy who's got headphones on, he's stressed nice, fairly like you can see that hey, this one is a pro. And he's walking onto the train. As he's walking, there's a white guy also coming onto the train. Also dressed nicely. They both, you know, bros. Doesn't the black bro stop at the entrance? And he looks at the white guy. Earphones are on. He's listening to music. And he goes, you ain't gonna say excuse me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh. And then he continues. That time they were walking same pace, same everything. And then he gets in and he says some other, I'm not even gonna say those things. Now the white guy's like, he sits there and he keeps staring. He's not sure is something gonna pop off. I'm like, I need to either get off the train because I don't know what's going on. No, it's very. It's just different. Yeah, I know it's different. Anyway, but it's been nonetheless like great experience, great yeah. trip. We can't wait for our next trip, which uh, we hopefully will be able to bring Ruru along. Yeah. Um, you know as well. So yeah, guys. That's Yo, we partied with DJ Spoo. Yeah, that was pretty did. cool. That was also that was pretty cool. Shout we out made to some DJ Spoo. lovely people. Yeah. So I think yeah. To summarize this video, it's just a check in yeah. uh, to tell you guys what's been happening in our lives, where we've been, and why we've been MIA for a little bit, yeah. right? And also to tell you a little bit about New York and what we're doing here and how that's gone. We're working and on some short form content, yes, trying to figure out how we're going to infiltrate gonna, the shorts market. Yeah, so exactly. expect to get a whole bunch of shorts from please us. Please watch them, guys. Watch <laughs> the shorts as well. Please make sure you like. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And please comment down below. If you are in New York City, it would have been dope to bump into you. In fact, we did bump into one person. Um, I forget her name. And she was oh, like, oh, yeah. Uh, from, what are you doing here from Pulukwa? Yeah. Um, that was pretty Good cool. Um, so yeah, shout out to everybody that's been, um, I guess, seeing us and sending us love on our Instagram. We really appreciate it.